morning students today we are going to learn about geography unit 6 man and environment introduction today we will learn the components of environment the various features of human environment interaction various settlement patterns the different economic activities of man the environmental effects of human behavior first topic man and environment early man depended entirely on nature for food clothing and shelter man has enjoyed a dominant position over the other living organisms around him because of his erect posture hands and intelligence the modern man modified the environment where he multiplied in numbers of increased population and has always extended his territories leading to the exploitation of nature resources next topic classification of environment environment is generally classified as natural environment human environment and man made environment next natural environment earlier we have learned about the natural components of environment such as lithosphere atmosphere hydrosphere and biosphere next topic human environment human environment is defined as the interaction between man as an individual with his family occupation and society it is also related to various cultural aspects such as education religion economics and politics next topic man made environment man made environment has been created by man himself for the purpose of fulfilling his needs and to make his life more convenient and easy for example building transport park industries monument etc next topic population can you imagine a world without human beings human beings are important to develop the economy and society the latin word populus means people population is the total number of people living together in a particular place at a given point of time next topic population growth population is a dynamic phenomenon where the number distribution and composition are constantly changing human population increases as babies are born and decreases as people die as a result human population grows slowly about the time of industrial revolution it began to increase rapidly natural increase of population is the difference between the birth rate and death rate population change refers to an increase or decrease in the population of an area influenced by the number of births deaths and migration population growth refers to an increase in the number of people who reside in a particular area during a particular period next topic distribution of population population distribution refers to the way in which people are spread out across the earth's surface the world population is not uniformly distributed owing to the following factors physical factors historical factors economic factors first factor physical factors physical factors include temperature rainfall soil relief water natural vegetation distribution of minerals and availability of energy resources historical factors regions with historical importance river valley civilizations war and constant invasions fall under historical factors responsible for population distribution next economic factors educational institutions employment opportunities manufacturing industries luxurious amenities trade and commerce and other facilities encourage dense population in an area next topic density of population density of population refers to the number of people living per square kilometer an area is said to be sparsely populated when it has a large area with less number of people similarly smaller the area with a large number of people it is said to be densely populated population density equal to total population by total land area the world population density is divided into three main groups areas of high density above 50 people per square kilometer example east asia south asia northwest europe next areas of moderate density 10 to 50 people per square kilometer 
the subtropical regions like Gongo, Nigeria and Zambia. Next, areas of low density, less than 10 people per square kilometer. Central Africa, Western Australia, Northern Russia. Next topic, human settlements. A settlement can be described as any temporary or permanent unit area where people live, work and lead an organized life. It may be a city, town, village or other agglomeration of buildings. A settlement generally consisted of cluster of houses, places of worship and a place of burial. Later, small settlements developed into villages. Several villages together formed a town. Bigger towns developed into cities. Settlements were formed in different shapes, size and locations. Next topic, classification of settlements. On the basis of settlements may be classified as rural and urban settlements. Rural settlements, any settlement where most of the people are engaged in primary activities like agriculture, forestry, mining and fishery is known as rural settlement. Next topic, patterns of rural settlements. First, rectangular pattern. Rectangular pattern of settlements are found in plain areas or valleys. Next, linear pattern. In a linear pattern, the houses are located along a road, railway line and along the edge of the river valley or along a levee. Next, circular or semicircular pattern. The pattern of settlement that is found around the lakes, ponds and sea coast are called circular or semicircular pattern. Next, star-like pattern. Where several metalled or unmetalled roads converge, star-shaped settlements develop. In the star-shaped settlements, houses are spread out along the sides of road in all directions. Next, triangular pattern. Triangular pattern of rural settlement generally develop at the confluence of rivers. T-shaped, Y-shaped, cross-shaped or cruciform settlements. T-shaped settlements developed at dry junctions of the roads. T, Y, Y-shaped settlements emerge as the places where two roads converge with the third one. Cruciform settlements developed on the crossroads which extend in all four directions. Next, nebular pattern. The arrangement of roads is almost circular which ends at the central location or nucleus of the settlement around the house of the main landlord of the village or around a mosque, temple or church. Next, urban settlements. People are primarily engaged in non-agricultural activities such as secondary, territory and quaternary activities. Next, classification of urban settlements. Urban centers are classified as town, cities, metropolitan cities, mega cities, conurbation, etc. First, town. A town is generally larger than a village but smaller than a city. It has a population of less than 1 lakh. Example, Arakonam near Chennai. Next, city. Cities are much larger than towns and have a greater number of economic functions. The population in cities are estimated to be more than 1 lakh. Example, Coimbatore. Next, metropolitan cities. Cities accommodating population between 10 lakhs and 50 lakhs are metropolitan cities. Example, Madurai. Next, mega cities. Cities with more than 50 lakh population are called mega cities. Example, Greater Chennai. Next, conurbation. A conurbation is a region comprising of a number of cities, large towns, and other urban areas. Example, Delhi conurbation. Next, economic activities. Economic activities are those efforts or actions that involve production, distribution, and consumption of commodities and services at all levels within a region. Next, types of economic activities. Primary activities, secondary activities, territory activities, quaternary activities, culinary activities. First, primary activities. Primary activities certain to the extraction of raw materials from the earth's surface 
ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபுட் கேதரிங் ஹண்டிங் லோம்பரிங் நெக்ஸ்ட் செகண்டரி ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் செகண்டரி ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் ரா மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் இன் டு ஃபினிஷ்டு கூட்ஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் அயன் அண்ட் ஸ்டீல் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி நெக்ஸ்ட் டெட்டியரி ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் விச் பை தம்சர்ஸ் டூ நாட் ப்ரொடியூஸ் கூட்ஸ் பட் சப்போர்ட் த ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆர் கால் டெட்டியரி ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்ட் கம்யூனிகேஷன் நெக்ஸ்ட் குவேட்டனரி ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் தி ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு ரிசர்ச் அண்ட் டெவலப்மெண்ட் ஆஸ் வெல் அஸ் நாலேஜ் ஆர் கால்ட் குவேட்டனரி ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் சர்வீசஸ் லைக் கன்சல்டேஷன் எஜுகேஷன் அண்ட் பேங்கிங் நெக்ஸ்ட் கியூனரி ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் த ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் தட் ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் த கிரியேஷன் ரீஅரேஞ்ச்மெண்ட் அண்ட் இன்டர்பிரிட்டேஷன் ஆஃப் நியூ அண்ட் எக்ஸிஸ்டிங் ஐடியாஸ் ஆர் கால்ட் கியூனரி ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் என்வரான்மெண்டல் இஷ்யூஸ் Environment is the basic life support system that provides air, water, food and land to all living organisms. Some of the environmental issues that we are going to learn are deforestation, pollution such as air, water, noise, etc., urbanization, fracking and waste disposal. Next topic, deforestation. Deforestation is the cutting down of trees permanently by the people to clear forest in order to make the land available for other uses. Effects of deforestation. Deforestation results in many effects like floods and droughts, loss of soil fertility, air pollution, extinction of species, global warming, spread of deserts, depletion of water resources, melting of ice caps and glaciers. rise in the sea level and depletion of ozone layer next topic conservation of forest conservation of forests can be done through the regulation of cutting of trees second control over forest fire next proper use of forest products next topic sustainable development sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs for sustainable development to be achieved it is crucial to harmonize three core elements economic growth social aspects and environmental production next why is sustainability important the excessive usage of natural and man made resources deplete its availability for the future generation we need to look after our planet our resources and our people to ensure that we can hand over our planet to our children to live in true sustainability hence conservation and awareness are two important terms that can be bring sustainability to our living thank you students